What's up, everybody? Well, I got another Asus G15 Advantage gameplay video for you guys today. And today, we're going to do Overwatch 2. But at 4K, we're skipping ultra wide, seeing as though I did the 5800X 3D and realized that uh, ultra wide's not supported to do. Just seems like something that's probably never going to be supported in Overwatch. They think it gives you an unfair advantage. And in a way, it does, but it's not like. <coughs> Man, I usually don't cough, but that was the first hit of the day. First of the day almost always makes me cough a little teensy tiny bit. Anyway, why don't we go ahead and get into the game, look at some settings, as we are already ready to go. We've got a laptop set up, got my iPad timer and all of that. So, let's hop into the game and have a look at some settings. All right, guys. Before we get started with our 4K gameplay, let's go through these settings real quick. As you can see, we are running the correct resolution. Eh, say hell and 4K and all that. Maximum frame rate too. Now if we go look at a graphic quality, we're going to start off with low. And then work our way up from there. And there we go. That is the bottom. So now, let's go hop into the game. Let's start out here with some low gameplay here. Alright, that's a whole team wipe right there. And I'm actually impressed, at least on low, completely playable. Which is the way I'd play this game. Get the most FPS you can get. I guess Misty has relinquished my chair, so I guess I'll sit in it now. I was just kind of standing for now, letting her have the chair since I got up to finish up the one of my videos. She kind of was like, all right, well, you got up. I was on your lap. Well, guess what? That's my chair now. And I was like, yeah, well, whatever. You can have it. I'm just going to record anyway. And I don't technically need a chair to do this. I could kneel. I can stand. I can do a bunch of stuff. All it is is talking into a microphone, after all. But, of course, the chair is the most comfortable option. I just have to raise this microphone up a little bit now, but I don't want to do that while it's recording, because even though it's got all sorts of cool technologies, I'm sure if I do that, the vibrations and the sounds will come through, and it'll be horrible. So I'll just mess with that as soon as I get done with this little uh, verse recording thing. I'm going to try to get, like, two, three minutes of... of uh, Camera, uh, screen record gameplay, and then at the very end, we'll get some camera gameplay in too. Because I know people do like that now. And I try to, I'll try to do it with Steam Deck videos too. Alright, well, this looks like a good time to move on. Now we're gonna do medium. So let's just scroll through these really quickly. There's not too many here, so it doesn't really take us very long at all. And there we go. That is the bottom. So now let's hop into the game and see how medium plays. Time for medium gameplay now. So let's go get some in and we're still getting way more than enough FPS for me to play anyway. But then again, I'm not the most competitive player at this kind of stuff, so maybe other people are more sensitive and this would be completely unplayable, but to me, for this laptop 4K, it's still more than playable. Usually by now on medium, we're already just, you know, barely over 60 while we're recording. Wonder if this will be able to do all the way up to Epic. Ooh. Definitely some stutter while we're recording, but eh, that happens. Really wish you could just have relive. 
but it's been like almost a year and they still don't have that working yet. So I feel like they're probably just never going to. And if I want it, I'll probably have to go get like hacked drivers or something. And I don't really want to do that because that kind of invalidates all my tests for you guys. Because that's not stuff that just anybody can attain. Well, they can, but it's probably not as easy as just download, press OK, and you're good to roll. I mean, maybe it's that easy. Obviously, people can correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not the best with that kind of stuff, so I usually tend to stay away from it, but I am going to make a video soon about a way to undervolt, because somebody just finally showed me a way to do it. We'll see if it's actually good. They actually say it gives you points and like benchmarks and FPS and games, so I'm more than willing to give it a try. So far, the rest of the solutions for uh, keeping temps and stuff under control uh, seem to hinder performance, and I don't want that. I got this whole thing to get like max FPS and like games like this, so if I put like heat caps, you know, like where I make it like max out at 85C or something, well, it's going to take away some FPS. It's going to throttle the uh, processor or whichever, the GPU or processor, one of the two. And then you're going to get less FPS than you were before. So that's no fun. Soldier 76 reporting for duty. But that's why I went with the cooling pad option. So I can just have like pretty cool temps and still have all my FPS. But if I can get colder temps, getting even more FPS and everything, well, hell, I'm all for that. And I'm sure a lot of people would be too. And of course, I'm going to give the guy who mentioned it credit. I made sure to save his message in my email so I can give proper credit where credit's due. I don't want to sit here and act like I'm the one coming up with all these ideas. I always give credit where credit is due. Whoa, I almost got eaten by a dragon. That wouldn't have been good. Unless that was my allies, but I don't think it was. Man, I keep getting owned. <laughs> oh, well, why don't we go ahead and just move on now? Well. It's high time now. So, let's just go through these really, really quick and then it's back to the game and see if we can still stay over 60. All right, let's move on. Here we go with some high gameplay now. We're still getting more than playable frame rates so far. Obviously, this wouldn't be great frame rates for people that are like take this competitively, but let's be honest, those people aren't going to be playing on a 4K TV. They're going to have like a 1440p or 1080p high refresh rate monitor like I got. And they're going to probably play the game on low. Hell, they might even turn on like FSR settings and like get even better. FPS and lower the resolution even more. I don't know. For all I know, FSR and DLSS and the Intel thing, whatever it's called, EXSE or something like that, are probably might be taboo for competitive play. I don't know. Or just make something terrible. I don't know. Like I said, I'm not a super competitive player, so I just have fun with games like this. Get back here, you. Huh. Power underwhelming. It's not overwhelming, now it's underwhelming. High hopes. Well, it looks like boom. At least I got one this time. I haven't had good luck with that this time around. Probably because I'm not throwing it. Some people just run away from it. Gotta try. Throwing it at people or something sometime, but I never do. Don't know why. Oh, who's over here? Oh, nope, she ran back into her base. Can't do nothing to her. Damn. Oh well. Oh, there's another one to kill. Oh, 
Oh, well, never mind. I'm the one that's gonna die. Oh yeah, then she did a rescue, and now I can get back in my mech. But I think it's time for us to move on. Now we're going to move on to ultra settings, so a quick walk through the settings here, and then we will get into the game. And there we go. So, now to the game, and see if it can still stay over 60. All right, time for ultra gameplay. We dropped all the way down to 62 already, so we might stay above 60 barely this time around, but that doesn't bode well for Epic, I don't think. At least while we're recording. But I'll remember to let you guys know what it got before I started recording as well. I actually got a kill. Well, it was a turret, but I don't care. I killed something not in my mech. I'm always happy to do that. Oh, oh shit. You killed our freaking gorilla. Get shot. Well, darn. I got shot. <laughs> but she's insanely squishy in human form, obviously, so... Makes perfect sense. All the caution. All right, cool, I can get my mech back. Oh, or not. All right, let's move ahead. Now it's time for Epic. So, through the settings we will go, and then, of course, to the actual game itself. And of course, after that, then a little camera gameplay too. But, let's get into the game now. Well, now let's do a little Epic gameplay, and as I was running around and whatnot before, it was already dropping under 60 to about 52 at times. So, it doesn't seem like the recording is affecting it that awful much. But here it goes down all the way down to the 40s, so. I do not think no matter what, even if we weren't recording, it would drop probably to the high 40s. Nothing wrong with that, though. So, all right, can't quite handle Epic at 4K, but hey, I handled all the rest of the settings all the way up until now. So, that's actually pretty impressive. Oh, I hear shooting.
All right, we got a shield. Oh, they're coming up behind us, fuck. All right, is that all of them? All right, it is. All right, well, let's go get some camera gameplay in now, shall we? Well, all right, guys, let's start our camera recorded gameplay portion here. And we're going to start with the low graphic setting. We're not going to start with, but we're just going to do low because that's pretty much how I would play this game competitively. And I feel like that's how most people are going to play this game, especially if you're on a TV like this. 4K is already hard to run. Although they probably wouldn't be at 4K. They'd be on the TV, but they'd probably do 1080p or 1440p or something. Anyway, so there's all the settings real quick here. We'll scroll on down through them. And all right, that's the bottom. Plus, you had all that time to look at them while I was chatting about. So now it's time to get into the game and get a little gameplay in. Well, all right. Here we go. I'm going to engage those hostiles. for that to go away. I got to live. Oh, I've got to live. I got more than two life now. Ah, I was almost about to kill the fucking, whatchamacallit, little dwarf guy. Oh well, no big deal. Let's just run back to the action, I guess. Man. All right, well, next time we're gonna come over here and we're gonna let Bob take care of this. I'm not gonna lie, I swear I was shooting that one thing in the face and I wasn't even getting hit markers. So I don't know what the hell is up with that. Unless I'm not aiming right because of the angle I'm sitting at, but, well, obviously I'm not gonna do as good as normal sitting like this, but it is what it is. Well, at least now we can escort this payload. Escort the payload? I am the payload. All right, fuck it, Bob. Fuck these people up, Bob. What are you doing, Bob? Help me out. I do not like that thing, whatever it is. It's just like, hey, I'm just gonna like spin around like a fucking lunatic and like slay everything. And like nothing can hurt me. There we go, I got it that time, or at least somebody did. It's hard for me to see the scores. All right, this looks like this character's cup of tea right here. It's Western Land.
Man. Thanks for the help, healer. The checkpoint. And not just any checkpoint. The checkpoint of all checkpoints. Man, that thing is tough. That's got to be like the best tank in the game now by far. Oh, look at him go for a spin. Hey, we can call him Bob again. That's good. Bob's always fun. Get him, Bob. I stepped on the lava. Cool. And that's a victory. Heh. <laughs> Finn. All right, what did she do? All right, that was pretty dope. And all right, with that, why don't we go ahead and wrap this video on up now? Well, all right, guys, that is a wrap for Overwatch 2 on the Asus G15 Advantage, but we still have my uh, 5800 X3D and 5800, or no, 50. 950X, God, all these numbers get fucking complicated, and RTX 3090 main computer to do. But this is a close for the laptop, and you can't play these games on the Steam Deck unless you install Windows, and I'm not doing that, so. Or at least that was I was told. I was told if you install this and play, you risk getting banned or something, and I don't want to get my account banned. So it's not to say you can't do it, I just don't want to get risk banned. Anyway, though. I'm going to go and get started on the main computer now, but I hope you guys enjoyed this particular video, and until the next one, peace out, guys.